Welcome to Gold Market Update and Charts. So today we've got a couple of really interesting charts for you to have a look at on the 9th of Jan, as well as leading you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw significant gains on Wall Street, with tech leading the bullish charge to the upside. Three quarters of stocks advancing. We have got US CPI in the start of earnings season as the headline acts this week, and of course that will move markets significantly. But for today, we're seeing if there's any follow through. We're not seeing so in the US futures at this stage, but we are in European futures. We may get some slingshot sort of approach if European markets open strongly in those US futures, I would suggest. Asian markets are following that US lead. ASX is the outperformer, along with the Nikkei. ASX being up over 1% with all sectors to the upside. US dollar index is mildly lower and gold edge lower, interestingly. So both moved in tandem gold may test 2030 but it's slightly higher in asian trading today copper is looking strong after a bounce off of 200 ema again higher today but oil dropped again towards the bottom of the short term range and it may be why the energy sector is the underperformer on the asx today bitcoin big news it spiked and closed above that key 45,000 level which has been played for some time it looks like a technical ascending triangle has been completed be interested to see how much follow through there is in asia it isn't seeing any follow through at this stage but it's fairly early in the trading day on the data front we've already had soft japanese cpi released at australian retail sales which are slightly higher than expectations later on today we've got eurozone jobs and german industrial production numbers and tonight we've got the u.s trade balance which isn't in itself a major market mover more so we think that eyes may be on that thursday cpi data chinese cpi is on friday and of course the start of us earnings which really kicks off on thursday and friday a couple of charts to have a look at today and we're going to start with the us yen on the hourly chart you can see we've been in downtrend really for most of yesterday the low we hit was 143.61 we've tested that in the last hour although we are seeing a little bit of a bounce off this 200 ma not usually important on the hourly chart but perhaps it is so today, but that breach of 143.61 pivot looks important. This could be a retracement prior to small selling. Jury's out on this one. If it does continue it, its way down, we could see it down to 143 in the first instance, being the S2 pivot. And maybe even if we get some momentum behind it, uh, fill and drop again. On the SX, we're liking Paladin's follow through. We've breached 105 now, which was the level we talked about yesterday. And we'll look as though we're heading up towards 114 potentially in the medium term. This would be a gain of around about 7.5% if it gets up there. But certainly, technically, this looks strong. You can see the high volume candle yesterday, uh, which pushed it right up hard against this level. So, we want to keep an eye and see where it sits at the back end of the trading day. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.